tourism in Jamaica has a rich history that evolved, transforming the island into one of the Caribbean's premier tourism destinations. After World War II, there was a global surge in interest in travel and tourism. Jamaica, with its stunning beaches and cultural vibrancy, became increasingly popular. The Jamaican government recognized the economic potential of this and began initiatives to attract visitors. Jamaica's tourism industry has been shaped by a combination of natural beauty, cultural richness, and strategic marketing efforts. While facing challenges such as environmental concerns and the impact of global events, the resilience and adaptability of Jamaica's tourism sector has been key to its enduring success. The history of Jamaican tourism can be traced back to the early 20th century and its development as a major industry is influenced by various individuals and events. While there may not be distinct founders of Jamaican tourism, there are key figures and milestones that have contributed to its growth which will all be discussed in this documentary. The first person that we will take a look at is Sir Harold Mitchell, often credited as the early advocates for tourism in Jamaica. Sir Harold Mitchell, a British businessman, played a significant role in promoting the island as a desirable tourist destination in the 1920s. His efforts aimed to attract tour visitors to experience Jamaica's natural beauty and pleasant climate island records and reggae music in the 1960s and 1970s the global popularity of reggae music particularly through artists like bob marley helped to elevate jamaica's cultural profile tourists were drawn to the island not only for its beautiful landscapes but also for its vibrant music scene Edward Siaga. Edward Siaga, who later became the Prime Minister of Jamaica, was instrumental in the development of tourism during his tenure as Minister of Development and Welfare in the 1960s. He implemented policies and projects aimed at boosting the tourism sector. The Jamaica Tourist Board, JTB. Established in the 1955, the Jamaica Tourist Board has played a pivotal role in promoting Jamaica as a tourist destination. Through marketing campaigns, the JTB has showcased the island's attractions, including its beaches, music, and culture to a global audience. All-inclusive resorts. In the 1970s and 1980s, the advent of the all-inclusive resort model with properties like Sandals Resorts and Super Clubs significantly contributed to Jamaica's tourism growth. These resorts offered comprehensive vacation packages which appealed to a wide range of travelers. The Great Reggae Sun Splash Launched in 1978, Reggae Sun Splash became one of the world's premier reggae festivals attracting international visitors and contributing to Jamaica's reputation as the birthplace of reggae music. And last but not least, the advent of cruise tourism on the island. Jamaica has also become a popular destination for cruise ship tourism. Ports like Ocho Rios and Montego Bay welcome numerous cruise visitors providing economic benefits to local communities. Over the years, Jamaica has evolved into a leading Caribbean tourist destination, known for its warm hospitality, cultural richness, and diverse attractions. While there may not be specific founders, the collaborative efforts of individuals, organizations, and the Jamaican government have collectively shaped the island's tourism industry.